action. I believe that black men and white women can save America through fornication. Don't you like to fornicate? What happens when you fornicate? You procreate. You make some babies. I think the American man is supposed to do two things, two major things, meet ladies and have babies. How better to heal the racial relations in America than to make sure that our offspring reflects the demographics of America? Let's have a conversation, yeah? In 1991, Spike Lee made a movie called Jungle Fever. Have you ever seen the movie Jungle Fever? A black man has a relationship. He fornicates with a white woman, the black man's wife, Wesley Snipes. His wife leaves him. And for the white woman, she get, her daddy kicks her out of the house and says, you can't come back home no more because he's over there having that jungle fever, playing with that black meat, <laughs> playing with that black tallywhacker. Right now in America, right now, it's still taboo to have interracial relations. That movie was made 30 years ago, 31 years ago, and interracial relationships was taboo then. And they're still taboo now. When it comes to the dating market, there are two real extremes in the dating market. White men and black women are, are extremists when it comes to dating. A white man will look at a white woman who's dating a black man, but you're not supposed to be dating that black man. What's wrong with you, you race traitor? And black women on the opposite side will look at a black man who's dating a white woman and say, you ain't supposed to be dating that white woman, you race traitor, you coon. <laughs> but there's a double standard. There's especially a double standard for black women in America. Like, for example, a woman like Serena Williams, she can go and date a white man and they say, you get it, girl. Go, sis, you got you a white man. Jonathan Majors was in the boxing movie Creed Creed 3 and then he was dating a white woman got into some legal trouble with the white woman and all these black women was like you shouldn't have been dating no white woman I'm like hold on hold on man like can't you see the uh, conflict of interest there when it's okay for one party to do it but it's not okay for the other party to do it we can't even have genuine and honest conversations not in America no not when it comes to uh, interracial dating 30 years ago it was not legal for homosexuals to get married. 30 years later, it is. <laughs> Can't you see how that's crazy as hell? We can change our thinking when it comes to uh, homosexual relationships, but we can't change that way of thinking when it comes to interracial relationships. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Ain't that a beautiful example of black love? We say a black woman will hold a black man down. I want to think about that for a second. Why in the hell would I want a woman to hold me down? I want a woman to edify me. You know what edification means? It means to lift me up. I want my woman to build me up. I don't want to acquiesce to, no, to my woman. Hell no. I think the American man, especially the American black man, you're supposed to be powerful. Your woman is supposed to be a compliment to who you are as a man. You ain't supposed to compliment your woman. You ain't supposed to bow down to no goddess. Oh, you my goddess. You my queen. If she's your queen, what does that make you? The king, dummy. <laughs> you supposed to rule your kingdom. Your woman ain't supposed to rule you. But we can't even have that conversation because the feminist ideology is really running rampant in America. But I want to have a conversation about fornication because fornication leads to children. What are the real differences between black men, white women, white men, black women? What's the differences besides the color of our skin? Once upon a time, Dr. Martin Luther King said, judge a person based on the content of their character. Well, I like to judge women based on their beauty, their physical aesthetic. Uh, how big is your breast? <laughs> huh? how, how sweet is your coochie? These are the things that interest me as a black man. The color of your skin, uh, I guess, you know, is interesting, not that interesting. I look at love it's like it's very artistic. The art of making love is a, a very beautiful thing. In art, there's a, there's a word called juxtaposition. Juxtaposition is just a $5 word for contrast. You have some, some a dark color and a light color, and it makes the composition just so much more interesting. What's another thing that makes art very interesting? Symmetry. You need contrast and symmetry to make a, a piece of art beautiful. The only thing that needs to be symmetrical in a relationship is ideology. Uh, did you have your father in your home? Were you raised in a two-parent household? Because that symmetry can actually build our relationship. I only want to talk about building. I only want to talk about building relationships. I only want to talk about making America stronger. And what better way than to make America stronger than to unite the races through babies? Huh? We're going to have real little American offspring. That's exciting to me. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.